Hey everybody, welcome to the studio at the Raven Golf Club. So, I am a very, very happy Cobra Puma brand ambassador, and they were kind enough to send me a set of the forged one length and the, ca and the cast version. I've been messing around with the forged ones, played a little bit of golf with them in, uh, at a golf school we just shot we just did in Florida, actually, at Mission Inn Resort, and really enjoy them. Super solid. And just a couple of things. I mean, this is live. I'm just going to hit a couple of shots. Just, I've got TrackMan up here. I don't know how well you can see the, the tiles that uh, kind of show you where I'm hitting the ball. But, you know, the, the whole thing with one-length clubs, you know, I've got the six iron in my left hand and the pitching wedge in my right hand. And you can see when I set them down, you know, they come to the same length. And they're the same lie angle. And they're the same swing weight and the same everything. So, you know, I grew up playing golf, you know, with, with traditionally stepped golf clubs. And, you know, so therefore I became, and these are, these are all measured to a seven iron length. So I got to admit, the first time I picked up this wedge and held it, I thought, man, that thing's really long. But now I kind of get myself in the idea that I'm standing there kind of holding on to a seven iron, hitting a shot from about one, you know, 160, 165. But this won't go that far. Let's go ahead and hit one. You know, so that was a solid strike with a pitching wedge. Come on, Trackman, wake up. Trackman was just out cold for a minute, so maybe it'll take a second to get uh, catch this one. Oh, there we go. I know that wasn't it. Let's see. Hit another wedge for you, or seven iron feeling wedge. When my wedge is about a 135 club, it's asking me to move the mouse to wake it up. Let's go ahead and wake it up. And we'll hit a couple six irons, a couple wedges. There we got the beep from Trackman. says it's awake. So if I was 135 in the fairway trying to hit a fairly full wedge, this is what I'd try to do. So it looks like it got that data. Okay. So carry 130, total 129.6. I guess I got a lot of spin on that one. So... And that swing speed, you'd think that all these clubs I would swing the same speed. Now with a wedge, I'm sure I'm going to choke up and hit a lot of half speed, little knockdown shots. But let's go ahead and hit a few more of these. It was 85 miles an hour. Uh, the carry was about right, 130. Um, let's take a look at swing plane. It's an interesting one. So technically, the swing plane number on there is 58.5 degrees. So when I go to the six iron, that means it should be, you know, that swing plane should be the same. We, we shall see. But I gotta be honest, the first time I played with these, I rather liked it. I hit, uh, it was funny, I posted on Instagram one shot, and it was one iron I hit bad on the front nine that, that round. I hit it in the water on a pretty tricky part three. So pretty solid strike, so 85 miles an hour. And you can see by the graphic, it went pretty straight, so that flew 138. Let's hit another one here. Uh, didn't get my swing plane number. And sorry I can't ask, answer questions. I'm just a one-man show here today, hitting a few shots. And if you happen to be on Facebook and interested in this, you know, I'm just kind of giving you my feedback on how these things feel. Eighty-six miles an hour. Graphic pretty straight. Swing plane went up to 61. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's see, 133 carry. So that gapping is very much like my old standard Cobra Forge Blade. And I've been using their Fly Z golf clubs for the past couple of years, uh, the Forge Fly Z blades, tiny little blades. So basically this golf club is, the only thing different about this golf club right now is the loft. So the speed should be about the same. I should be able to get it to 86. Same length, same weight, everything. And let's see what the distance is if I hit it solid. That was a groove off. It was a little skinny. So, for some reason, I swung at 89 miles an hour, but it carried 170, and that's about what I would hit a six iron. The elevation went to 90 feet, and that's hard to see unless it's on here in another. There it is. Yeah, so it went to 90 feet, and that's that's what I hit a six iron. So even though I'm swinging a golf club that is technically shorter than a six iron. The trajectory was the same. Let's hit one, see if I get a bit more on the button.
whoops, this side green to the left, elevation 87 feet, swing speed 88 and a half. So let's go up to the four iron. And this is when things get weird. You know, when you feel the wedges, they feel long and naturally this four iron. And then the swing plane went down a little bit and interesting. So the swing plane got down, face aimed a little to the left. It hit a little bit of a draw, overdraw or pull. Let's hit a four iron. Now, if I'm hitting a four iron on the golf course, I'm trying to carry a four iron 190, 195. Let's see if we get that. That felt pretty solid. Pretty straight shot. It carried 192.3. So interesting, as I went through from the pitching wedge to the six iron to the four iron, the gapping and that trajectory went 92 feet. And for my club speed, that's about what I get from a normal set of clubs. Now I gotta be, you know, I thought when these different companies tried to come out with these years ago, and I remember when I was a kid, I want to say maybe it was a company called uh, One Length, maybe Single Length, can't remember. Anyway, you know, it wasn't, Tommy Armour came up with a set years ago, and I thought, well, that's got to be weird because you're going to lose speed when you go incrementally longer in the other, with, with the longer clubs. And then in the shorter clubs, it's going to feel really wonky because now the longer clubs, unless they do something with the head weight, which they clear, clearly have done, you know, so you've got these different golf clubs. Here's a pitching wedge in my left hand, six iron in the middle, and four iron. And the beauty of this is I'm basically swinging the same weapon, okay? Now, unlike Brayson DeChambeau, I don't swing them up here at 70 some odd, whatever he sets his line angles. I'm 5'9", you know, and I've got these, these are pretty much stock, whatever they came to me at, and I honestly haven't even checked them. Um, I did notice with the wedge, and the gap wedge that based on what my brain was trying to do that I would hit it a little left. So when I was at the golf school in Orlando last couple of days, I had the fellows from TrueSpec bump down the wedge, basically flatten it a little bit so I could get comfortable with the length and have the loft project the ball you know, on my start line because I just kind of felt like the length of them, unless I really raised the handle at a dress, which I wasn't comfortable doing, then the ball would want to start fractionally to the left. So that little adjustment, you know, took them out and played. And got to say this, they felt amazingly solid off the face. Um, I, you know, I would go and pick clubs. If I was 170, I'd pull six iron, you know, and I felt like I could hit a little farther, a little shorter. And I didn't have a problem with the trajectory. Everybody's concerned about the, tra the trajectory. In my case, it, they felt great. Uh, the wedges, like I said, I bumped them down a little bit, but really, really nice. The, you know, I don't know if it's, I've got some KBS tour flighted shafts in here that they sent me that are 120 grams, and that's, that's pretty much what uh, my last set was built to. Maybe the shafts were 130 grams, I can't remember, it's been a couple of years now. But uh, let's hit a couple more shots. Wake track man up. And again, I apologize for not being able to answer questions live, but if you post some, I'll get back to you. That red string is, you know, my target line that TrackMan's aiming at, and we'll see if we, you know, what kind of curve we get relative to that. Nice solid strike. A little bit of a pushy fade, but again, one one seventy five carry. 88.87 miles per hour. Um, other than the face being fractionally open to the path there, the, you know, that, that's actually, you know, the face was a half degree close to the path. I mean, a, a tenth close to the path. But these are some solid feeling golf clubs. And here's where I think a lot of folks are going to benefit. Like I think about my wife when it comes about this, about this set because, you know, in Stacy's case, if she's got one golf club in essence that she pulls out of the golf bag, that she can go and set into and swing away, just basically picking a club for the length she needs, I think that's gonna be way simpler than her having to have the adjustment of feel, you know, growing a little bit with 
the, you know, the shorter wedges and then naturally the longer irons. Now, I think her set presently only goes up to a six iron, but I think if she just had a bag of, say, eight irons and the lady's length, I think that's what it is. At that length, now she has a choice. By the green, if you're hitting a little chip shot, you know, there's, you can naturally take this golf club that's the length of a seven iron, which is two inches longer than a standard pitching wedge. So there's my standard length. If I wanted to just hit a normal um, feeling shot, okay, or if I wanted to go down to the steel, you know, I could hit a little little bump and run chip shot right from here where my fingers are almost on the steel. So, you know, playing from here, hitting this little shot, collecting the ball with that little motion, you know, there's a, what it's a 30 mile an hour ball speed, little chip shot, 26 yard total. You know, why not? So I'm going to do a little bit more testing. I'm going to compare the forged one length to my Cobra Fly Z blades in a TrackMan Combine. And Combine's a pretty good way to test yourself. If you don't know what a TrackMan Combine is, you hit 60 balls. And you start off hitting three shots at 60 yards, and then you progress in 10 yard increments up into a 180 shot, and then you just hit three drivers, and then you go do it again, 60 to 180. And then you get a score relative to where your golf balls landed relative to the targets TrackMan wants you to to hit at. So it's a pretty good way to benchmark your ball striking skills. And when I did it in the past, I would score somewhere in the low 80s. And so naturally, you know, I would think if these are what I think they're going to do, I'm going to be somewhere thereabouts. And that's from a teaching pro now who doesn't play a whole heck of a lot anymore. But, you know, I still get it on the middle of the face most of the time when I hit it. So anyway, I thought you guys might enjoy that, whether, you know, you're tuning in here to Facebook Live, which I think is a crazy new opportunity to learn and watch and view, or you watch this after the fact. If you post some questions, you know, I will be happy to respond. So I hit some wedges, I hit some six irons. This is, an, oh, let me hit another four iron. Let me see if I can't belt one. So sometimes on the golf course, if I have a 200 yard carry, you know, I can smoke a four iron and get it, get it that far. And let's see if I can muster up one here. So again, there's no added length of club to add club head speed. But if I really go out, I could probably get this four iron to go 90 miles an hour, which, you know, is slow for some young whippersnapper, but fast for a 48 year old. So let's have a look and see what I can muster up here. And the track man went to bed. But I honestly didn't hit that very well, so let's try that again. Hopefully there's no front bunker on that one. Got to hit it over that lake. Lake edge is 200 yards. There's all the glory right here, nice and live. Patience and smash it. That was hit pretty well. So, come on, baby. Let's see. Oh, in the water, 186 carry. So, a little bit more testing, but I got to say the feel is great. If there is a demo set available for you to mess with at your club, you know, I want you to consider going out and testing them out. And I know that 